it's Justin again, and today I'm talking about another peptide, PT141, aka bremelanotide, bremelanotide, which goes by the trade name Vilesi. If you want to know about PT141 or what it is, then you need to know about melanocyte stimulating hormone, which is MSH. MSH is secreted from the pituitary, and it stimulates hyperpigmentation of the skin by increasing the release of melanin. Now, that's a very simplified version to put it, but in a nutshell, that's essentially what it does. Now, when I refer to MSH, I'm actually referring to the, the family of MSH peptides, which include alpha MSH, beta MSH, beta MSH and upsilon MSH. And each one of these different MSH peptides all acts upon and has a different affinity for any of the five melanocortin receptors, which are respectively referred to as MC1R all the way through MC5R. And mel melanotan 2 is an alpha MSH analog, and it is a nonspecific binder to the melanocortin receptors. So here's where PT141 comes into play. PT-141, a.k.a. bremelanotide, is a peptide that was derived from melanotan-2. The difference between PT-141 and melanotan-2 is that melanotan-2 is a nonspecific binder for any of the five melanocortin receptors, whereas PT-141 primarily has an affinity for MC-1R and MC-4R by binding the melanocortin receptors MC1R and MC4R specifically, PT141 increases sexual arousal, but it can still induce some hyperpig hyperpigmentation, albeit to a lesser degree than if it were to nonspecifically bind the five receptors. PT141 can increase sexual desire in both genders, primarily through the action of binding melanocortin receptor 4, MC, 4R. Its effectiveness in improving erections is even uh, expected even in guys that have psychogenic erectile dysfunction. In a follow-up video, I'm going to talk about some of the possible side effects of PT-141 and also some of the dosing protocols that one could expect, whether male or female. Thanks for tuning in again. Y'all have a great day.